So let's go with the cheapest option first, shall we? Let's connect up our camera using a cable and go to the EOS or the Canon EOS webcam utility. That's basically what they call their software. Before we look at the simplest option, let's have a look to see which cameras are actually suitable to be used as a webcam. A quick web search will find the utility that you need. It's called the EOS webcam utility. It's a bit of a mouthful. I don't know why they didn't just call it Canon webcam software, but uh, that's what they call everything that they do. So let's leave them to it. Uh, just down here, you'll see that there's a little bit of resources, including where you can download the utility from. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will find all of the current compatible products. So you wanna make sure if you're going to buy a camera or if you're going to use one of your cameras, just make sure that the actual camera is in this list before you go wasting your time or money trying to make it work. It's also worth looking at the other list, which is the which camera has a clean HDMI out, which is really important if you're going to use a capture card. I just searched for Canon clean HDMI output camera um, and I come up with this. I'll put the link in the description. And if you scroll down from here, you will then find the resources that says current compatible products are these ones. And you'll notice that the M6 Mark II and the M50 Mark II are in here. It's one of the few cameras that have a clean HDMI out that you can use. Both very good cameras. But you can use the EOS M50 Mark I as a webcam, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Once you're ready and you've got the right camera, click on download. It will take you down to the bottom here, and then you've got an option to download for Mac or Windows. Click on the one that's right for you. It will download the software. I'm gonna open this up and then click on setup.exe and then basically just go through the setup process as you would do installing any other piece of software. Once you've downloaded and installed it, don't go looking for it anywhere in lists of software. It won't show up. It'll sit in the background and the next time you open Zoom and you want to select your camera, you can go down and select the camera that you want, which in this case will be the EOS webcam utility. Now before you can use it, obviously what you need to do is to connect up your camera. You're gonna take your USB lead and you're gonna plug in the small part into your camera and then the large end is gonna go into your computer. And what's gonna happen then is a little bit of magic. Every time I connect up my camera, the EOS utility kicks in and up pops this. What I found is having this opens actually interrupts the webcam flow. For some reason it doesn't work and this opens automatically as soon as I plug my camera in. So plug your camera in, quit out of that, and once you've done that, your webcam should come back. As you can see, it looks pretty good. And let's be honest, with that jittery, you're really not gonna notice it too much. You've got much better quality straight away, which means when it goes to your video conferencing software, such as Zoom, they are gonna scale it down anyway, so it won't be completely perfect to the person on the other end. So that little bit of jittering, it doesn't matter, but if you are looking for a really nice, clean, crisp, output or maybe even even a 4K output, then you are gonna have to have a look at the capture card. So let's have a look at that option now. 